Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project, we're going to be putting this fan, um, we're going to be hanging an outside fan to replace an existing light fixture. As you can see, we have a light fixture up here and we replaced it with the fan on the opposite side to make it more modern so that way uh, we have some, some cooling to take place out here as well. It gets pretty hot underneath the canopy come the summertime. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, this happens to be the fan that I selected to put up here. Uh, again, you can pick any fan you choose, but this is just the one that I actually uh, picked up myself. Here's an example of what kind of tools you're going to need. You're going to need an assortment of possibly some screws and, and such. We may need it, we may not, but we have it just in case. We're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. We're going to need a voltage tester to make sure that we have no voltage in the line when we're working on it. But obviously we're just going to turn the power off until that light turns off and then we're going to know there's no power, but we will test it to make sure. We're going to need a set of cutting pliers such as this to strip the wires down that we're going to use. We may need something like this to cut through any thicker wires that may be in there. And we're going to need a couple of wrenches, a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, and actually a, a second 13 millimeter as well. So this is to put the fan together. We may need a couple of screws to put it up, but like I said, we have our assortment here. We have some drills in case we need to drill. And of course, we have our drill to make any holes that we need to do. But uh, all right, enough talking. Let's open up the box and uh, let's put it up and get this job done. Okay, first thing we're going to do, obviously, we're going to take this down and we're going to get rid of this. And there's little set screws on the side that you just take out. They some, sometimes Phillips head, sometimes regular flat head. We're just going to loosen them up and we'll take this apart. We'll take this off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this here. Let's take the light bulb out so we don't have an accident. And then we're going to remove this screw here and this screw here so we can take this down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw right here and this screw right here. I know it's hard to see because they're solid rust, but we are going to take this one out and this one out so we can pull this whole piece off of this aluminum beam right here. So let's see if we can get it out. I don't think it's going to come out, but we're going to try because it's pretty rusted. Okay, now, in this case here, this is our black wire right here, and this is our red wire, which is really bringing power to this light fixture here because it comes from another fixture further down. So we're going to remove this cap right here. Again, we have the power off. We're going to talk about this too. I know the power is off because you saw the light bulb go off, but if you're not sure, take a voltage tester. This one comes from a company called Kiowitz. They sent this to me. And you can check to make sure that there's no power in this wire. If there was power in here, this would be beeping like crazy. It would be a very quick beep and you would know it. But we have no power in here at all, which we knew because the light bulb was off. Comes in very handy. Check my Amazon store below the video and you'll see that this piece is in there. It's fairly inexpensive and I think it's, from what I recall, under 20 bucks. All right, but you'll see it on my Amazon store. We're going to take these little wire caps off just like this, unscrew them. Okay, and then this is then trash. We're going to get a pair of pliers now. We're going to unscrew these out of the beam and then we'll continue. So we opened up our box as you can tell and we took our first components that we're going to use right now. We're going to put this off to the side for now and we're going to focus on putting this mounting bracket up onto the aluminum beam up the top. And the way we're going to do it, remember those screws were very rusty, so we have new screws we're going to use and we're going to use the new screws to attach this to the beam up on the top right there. And we're going to center the electrical wires right over this hole right here where the power is going to come into it. All right, so that's what we're going to do first. And here's the rest of the components that came with the fan. We'll deal with this in just a minute. For now, we're going to deal with this and this. All right, so let's get, uh, let's get up top and let's put this up. 
we're going to put our, our um, bracket up on the top right here. We're going to pull these wires up and out of the way right now. Remember, we know there's no power in here because we did check it before we took it apart. All right. Now, from experience doing the other side, I know I have to make this hole right here just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to pull the wires through like this and take them up to the side here. There's, a, there's an electrical junction box right up on the top here. So we're just going to pull these up and through there just like this. Instead of having these wires connect into the fan, we're going to make all of our connections in this box right up in here. So for now we're just going to put these up on the side right like this and we'll come back to these in a minute. We're going to grab our drill and make that hole slightly larger. So now our hole is as big as we need it. Okay, we're going to catch our screws in here. We're going to get our second screw caught in here before we tighten anything down. Get our second screw in. Like this. And then we're going to center this over this hole right here so we can put our wiring through there. Now even though it's not going to be perfectly centered in the beam, that's the way I chose to do it because I don't want to make an additional hole in the beam but this personal preference so we're going to screw this up in here now it's nice and tight okay nice and tight this wire we are going to put up through the top right here as well so now we're just going to push it through and we'll come back to this in just a minute. Okay. Now let's disassemble the ball that connects up in here. And we'll continue with that right here. Okay, we're going to make sure we have all of our screws and we're going to lay them out so we have everything in front of us when we're working. They're in separate bags, so we're going to drop them in separate compartments. We're going to take our motor and we're going to take the wiring off the motor like this. Now you want to be real careful that you don't scratch the motor itself up so we're going to leave the plastic on it for a little bit. We're going to come over here and we're going to loosen up this set screw right here. We're not going to take it totally out, we're just going to loosen it. Okay, this we're just going to push down like that. Now this piece here, we need to disassemble this. Even though you're tempted to just put it together the way it is like this, it is easier disassembling it up on top right here. Alright, so that's what we're going to do right now. Loosen the screw here. Be careful you don't strip it out. We're going to keep that screw separate. And it also had a lock washer with it. We're not going to lose that lock washer either. And you put this piece down like this. Take it off. We're going to take this other piece off here as well. We're going to unscrew this screw right here for the ground wire, which we are going to reattach later. It's pretty tight, so I'm just going to use a pair of pliers to loosen it up a little bit. Remember how you took it off. We're going to keep it the way it came off. We're going to put it back together the exact same way. So we're just going to put this in here as well. 
Next, we're going to take this, take all the wiring here, and we're going to go through the center, just like this. Okay. And now we're going to bring it down right here. Take our bolt like this, put it right through here. Until it comes out the other side. We're going to put our flat washer on here, our lock washer on there. Put this nut over the top of it. And now we're going to snug them down. We're going to use the two wrenches, the 13 millimeter wrenches, and we're going to snug that bolt down. is we're going to take this carter pin, put it right through that small little hole right there, just like that, and you bend it like that so it cannot come back out. And we're going to come over on this set screw here. We're just going to screw this down until it touches, and that's how this goes, okay? Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to open this up like this. This is going to go over the top like that and again you have a set screw right here we just loosen up the set screw you don't have to take it totally out just loosen it up we're going to put the wiring through like this and then we're going to put this cap down over the top and then once it's down as far as it can go you can go you can't go any further Okay, and now we're going to snug this down. It doesn't have to be tight, just snug it in loosely. Oh, you know what? Let me just point this out to you real quick. If by chance you wanted to switch the rotation of the fan from up to down, this is the switch you would use right here. And obviously, if you had to do that in the future, you would just loosen up that set screw, lift it up, flip the switch, whichever way you wanted it, and you would be all set. And you would just slide this back down, and you could tighten this up just like this okay okay so that's assembled now next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here and we're going to go over the top of it as well okay slide it down like this and now we're going to reassemble the ball for the top of it okay we put this through the top like this slide this down out of the way for now now we're going to take our ground wire that we previously removed and we're going to reattach it. Now we're going to put it right back through this hole that we took it out of. We're just going to catch it on there for a little bit now. We're not going to tighten it up yet. And now we're going to turn it back where it was located before. It was facing up so that's the way we want to put it back on again. Okay and then tighten it up tight. Okay. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take that pin that came with it and we're going to slide the pin right through here just like this and then we're going to lift this up we're going to rotate it so that the screw is right there put this up like that and then we're going to put our screw right inside here Okay, and now we're ready to go back up top and we're going to hang this up. 
Okay, now we're going to snake our wires up through here, just like that, through the hole that we previously enlarged. And we're going to push them up into the electrical box, which we will show you in just a minute. But for now, we're just going to push them through. that on here and now we're gonna pull these wires up and we're gonna hook that ball over the top like this and we'll leave it hanging just like this for now we're going to fish this other this other green wire here, which is a, uh, a ground. We're going to reconnect this ground wire here as well. Slide it up through the hole that we previously enlarged. And we're going to bring that up into the junction box here as well. And we'll come back to this wiring up here in just a minute. Pull them so they're nice and straight. And that's it. Our, our fan is now supported up here. We're just going to wrap this around. We're not going to need it, but we're just going to wrap it around so it's out of our way and it doesn't interfere with anything. The next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take our cover. We're going to slide it up on here like this. We're going to make sure it's on the other side as well. Okay, next we're going to come back in here. We're going to put two screws in here, tighten these up, and then this part here will be finished. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up over here. We have a lot of extra wire here. We really don't need it. So we're going to cut off a little bit, just like that. We're going to take our wire strippers, and we're going to come in right here, and we're going to strip off probably about an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch, so that that much is showing. We'll do the exact same thing on the white wire as well. Okay, now the white wire is going to connect back to the white wire that we took it off of. We're going to connect it on here clockwise around like this. We're going to grab one of our new caps that came with it and we're going to screw it on until it's tight. Alright, cap is tight. Make sure your wires are tight. Give them a pull. Make sure everything is nice and tight, which it is. Next, we're going to take our black wire. And even though this is red, it's because it's coming from another, uh, it's running from another light fixture over. This is actually our power lead. So we're going to take our black lead here and we're going to connect it around just like this. Hold it with your fingers. Take your wire cap, put it on here, and screw it down as tight as you can until it doesn't turn anymore. Nice and tight. Grab the wires and pull them. Make sure they're tight. And they are. The next thing we're going to do is there was no ground on this box and you really you don't have to but we're going to do it to play it safe anyway. We're going to strip back right here so we have more wires showing there and there. We're going to wrap these two wires, the green wires, together, just like this. So that we have now one single strand. That's the grounds. We put a ground wire to the back of the box, right up in the top up here. We're going to cut this one shorter here. And then we're going to connect our grounds the same way. You hold it with your one hand, you twist it around, and then you take your cap and you screw your cap back on the top so it's nice and tight. Okay, give it a pull again, make sure it's tight, which it is. And then we're going to tuck the wires inside the box so that they're neatly out of the way, just like this. They're not going to interfere with the cover that we're going to put back on here. 
But for now, we're going to leave that sit. We're going to grab our cover and put it on in a minute. But we're going to screw the other two screws that came here to hold this together. Okay, and that's caught up there the way it's supposed to be. Let me get the cover. We'll put the cover on here. Take our cover, put our cover back on, hold it on with one hand. Catch bolt screws by hand before you tighten anything up. You want to make sure both of them are screws are caught. And then once they are, we'll come in with a screwdriver. Okay, now this is done. Let's get our fan blades and let's attach the fan blades. And now we take our fan blade and you, you look on the back of the blade, it'll tell you which way is up. And that's the way we're going to put it on there. So we're going to bring it up here and we're going to take the screws. We have our washers on here and our lock washers are ready. And we put it through here and we just screw it in by hand. We're not going to tighten anything yet. We're just going to screw it in. And then we're going to put the second screw in the fan as well. Okay, then we're going to, now once we have both of the screws caught, we can screw them down with the screwdriver and we can make them as tight as you can with a screwdriver or you can grab the wrench, in this case it's a 10 millimeter, and we can just snug them down so that the fan blade is nice and tight on the motor. You don't want to over tighten it and break it. Okay, next we're going to take our second blade. Again, we're going to look to see where the label was that said um, up. Okay, it's nice and tight. We're going to center it somewhat. And now if we did our job correctly, we should be able to turn this on and it should work. So uh, let's turn it on and see what happens here. Okay, so as you can see, replacing a fan is really not that difficult. The most important thing you're going to do though is make sure your power is turned off. Not that it's going to really do anything, but you don't want to get a shock. So make sure your circuit breaker in the panel box is off before you get started. And you can follow your directions or follow the directions in this video and you should have no problem. All right, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.